Hi guys, so this video is going to be all about the Kiss Lightning Speed Acrylic Nail Set and I've been experimenting and this is what I came up with. This was the first time that I did my nails and um, I got this at CVS for about $12, $13, I don't know. But it comes with the acrylic powder, the gel, the gel activator, the nails of course, um, the little cuticle stick, the nail file, and then the little polishing file. So the first thing I need to say about this is that it takes a lot of patience. Um, it took me a long time to come up with this. And by the way, they're not shiny because I haven't added nail polish to them, but I think for my first time, they look pretty good. Um, so yeah, um, prior to doing my nails, to prep my nails, use acetone to get rid of excess um, or nail polish and um, oils from your nails. Um, also trim your nails, um, push the cuticles back, all that good stuff, you know, use a cotton ball and all that. And then um, buff your nails, your natural nails with the pink side. And then just use acetone to get rid of all of the nail buffing thing. <laughs> Anyways, so um, I've already done these two nails right here, but I'm going to show you with these three how I did it, okay? So let me set you guys down. I don't know what angle is best. Probably like that. Okay, so you're going to open up the bottle of the acrylic powder and then you're going to apply your nails and the way you apply them is just by taking the gel and this works as the glue as well so you get your nails and you cut them according or you size them according to your finger size and all that you guys know how to do that a little tip is don't put the nails on and then cut them I what I did was cut them half ways then glued them onto my fingers because I found that it was way easier if I glued on the whole the whole um, piece and then cut it. Um, some of my nails broke, so that's definitely what you don't want to happen. So just cut them. It'll give you kind of a shortcut. So what you do is you take your gel activator, or I'm sorry, the brush on gel, and you. Do just like a regular nail polish. So, sorry if I'm moving the camera, but you apply it just like a regular nail polish all over the nail, making sure that it's even. You guys can't even see that, sorry. And once you do that, <laughs> sorry guys, once you do that, you can tell that it's very shiny. So you're gonna dip it inside of the powder and then you'll get something like that. Now what I did was kind of shake off the excess and you get something that looks like that. Now I'm going to take the brush on gel and do it again. I'm sorry guys I can't show you guys <laughs> exactly what I'm doing. But just take your time and make sure that all the gel or all the powder is coated by the gel. And again, make sure that it's even. So you'll get something like that. Next, what you're going to do, and I'm going to do this off camera, but you're going to take the gel activator and just spray over the area where you put the... Um, brush on gel and I'm doing it off camera because I don't want it to spray everywhere but that's gonna set the gel and as you can see you get such a nice result just from doing that so you're gonna let that dry meanwhile I will do the rest of the nails and the same way you're gonna take I'm gonna take my index finger and brush on the gel. I wish I had editing so you guys can't, you guys won't be bored just looking at me like that. Anyway, so you take the powder and then you dip your finger again. 
and you'll get that. So again, just tap off the excess. And then brush on the gel again. And it's good to have, you know, paper towel just so you can wipe the brush. So it doesn't get all contaminated and stuff. And then again, off camera, I will spray the gel activator onto the nail and you'll get that. And look at how nice that turned out. You see that. So, I won't do my thumb because I'm running out of time, but once that is dry, you're going to take the polishing bar and just go over the nails, you know, to make sure that the surface is even and that they look nice. So again, the end result will be something that looks like this. Let me know what you guys think. So then, um, my last step would just be to use some type of top coat, you know, to make them look nice and shiny. And that's it. I hope you guys liked that little demo. And let me know if you try it out. I'm definitely going to try this out with some of my friends. But until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.